Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across, exam for some college seniors, and there's an abbreviation in the clue that means our answer is going to be abbreviated also. I think this might be the PSAT? The preliminary SAT? Okay, let's see if we can build off of that. Destination for many pilgrims. Ooh. Hmm, shouldn't that be Mecca? Let's take a look at this S here. Shoe spike. Is this a shoe spike like in a high heel? Is it a stiletto? Hmm. Interesting. The beginning of the Hebrew world. And this is wordplay that's indicated by this question mark here. That means we have to find a punny reading for this clue. So it's not going to be about the story in the Torah about how God created the world. It's going to be something punny. I wonder if the pun is going to be about the word Hebrew, maybe they're talking about the Hebrew language. Um, that could be Aleph, right? That's the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet. That's pretty clever. Let's see. Takes a first bite of. That should be tries, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Can we build off of this Aleph here? The singer Lord's given name. Oh my god, that's asking a lot. I definitely don't know that. Cadillac rims. Another bit of wordplay here. So I guess this is not going to be about the actual wheels on a Cadillac car. Maybe this is going to be about the rims or the ends of the word Cadillac. It has a C on either end, right? Maybe that could be C's. That's really tricky. Um... Boy, this is starting to look like it might be Mecca. This would be an A. Greek goddess of wisdom. Hmm. Is it Athena? Was she the goddess of wisdom? They all had multiple jobs. Let's take out PSAT. I wonder if this A is right, though. Let's put in Mecca. Maybe this is the MCAT? I think that's the test you need to get into medical school, right? Yeah, okay. Um, maybe this is a cleat. This is a spike that's on a sports shoe. Okay, that's funny. It wasn't a high heel. Um, maybe this is Ella. And then this could be tastes. There we go. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that corner. Let's take a look at this first really long across answer. That's probably our first theme answer here. Sign outside a Stratego tournament. Um, and this is going to be some kind of punny wordplay too. Hmm, I haven't really played too much Stratego in my life. It looks like it might start with Captain. Are there like military ranks in Stratego? I want to say there is. Is this an A? Mile or Mole? Hmm, well, these are both units of measurement. Um, I believe a mole is like a quantity of something. Yeah, so maybe it's just unit. It's unit singular because the clue is asking for one or the other, not both. Yeah, okay, so this is not captain. Maybe it's capture. Do surgery. That should be operate, right? Yeah, that's something someone who took the MCAT might end up doing. Okay. Actress Kurilenko. Oh shoot, I have no idea. Just based on this kind of Russian sounding last name, I'm gonna guess it's Olga. Let's see if that's right. Start of an article in journalist lingo. That's the lead. You never want to bury the lead. Moxie could be grit, maybe? Yeah. Wild or wilder. Um, I guess they're not talking about Oscar Wilde. Or Gene Wilder. Or Billy Wilder. Hmm. I'm not sure who they're talking about here. Let's look at these acrosses here. 
home of many of the world's alpacas that has to be Peru. Work at a news desk, maybe? I guess that could be edit if you're an editor. Oh, maybe this is just the very general author. Maybe they actually were talking about Oscar Wilde. That's funny. Um, I'm not sure who this Wilder author would be. Maybe the goose can let us know who that is. Okay. 2011 Jay-Z Kanye West hit that pays tribute to singer Redding. I'm going to guess that's Otis, maybe? For Otis Redding? Yeah. Is this capture the flag? Is that the goal of Stratego? Are you supposed to be capturing a flag? This would be an E. Data for airport limo drivers for short. Yeah, that would be ETAs. Okay. Um, is this an F? Not willing to share. Maybe that's selfish. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it is capture the flag. Boy, it's been a long time. Okay. Stow away could be stash maybe. Philadelphia NFLer. Uh, it's the Philadelphia Eagles, right? So that would be an eagle. Bygone Italian coins. Um, I think that was the lira, right? L-I-R-A. Lira's plural because it's asking for coins, plural. Um, let's just make sure we got these downs correct. Is this where the Taj Mahal is? Agra. Noted mausoleum site. Yeah, I think that must be right. That's funny. That showed up a couple days ago, too. We have slag here for smelting byproduct. Yeah, that's the waste created by smelting. And then he's a real nowhere man. Beatles lyric. That looks pretty good. Okay. Let's look at our next probable theme answer here. Sign outside a Scrabble tournament. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have punny game-based phrases here. Um, hmm. What could this be? Is it going to be about tiles or about creating words i'm not sure about this one contract period that should be a term maybe if we can get these two letters that'll help a lot destroy as a motherboard that's kind of a nice modern clue if you fry your motherboard that's destroying it right Okay, the end of the Greek world, and this is more wordplay. I think it's going to be the same type of wordplay we had here with Aleph. So it's not going to be about the end of Greek civilization. I think this is the end of the Greek alphabet. That would be Omega. Okay, so sit for a spell. <laughs> very funny. I like that phrase a lot. That's very old timey. Okay. Dizzying decline could be a tailspin. Also one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid. Carbon compound. Hmm. I don't know about this one. First name in denim has to be Levi. Exam for some college seniors. Okay. So this is not the MCAT. Um, maybe it's the LSAT. That's the test to get into law school, right? We've got a lot of upcoming professionals on this grid. Dazzles could be shines, maybe? Astronomical event could be a nova, a supernova. Happening modernly. Okay, so this is kind of dated slang. So we're going to have to come up with a modern equivalent. I guess that could be lit. It's lit. It's happening. Yeah, okay. So this is enol. Oh my god. I have no idea what this is. Hopefully the goose can enlighten us as to what Inal is. All right, can we build out through the center here? It gets pretty narrow in here. There's not a lot of room to build through. Um, okay, so these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for you rang. Um, I guess that could just be yes. Like you're kind of asking someone why they bothered you. <laughs> okay. Noticed could be saw. Up for anything could be game. That's kind of a funny bonus theme answer for our game-based puns theme. All right. Where you might bump into a metal fan. This seems like it might be a little bit of a misdirection here. This is not going to be a literal metal fan, I don't think. I think this might be a fan of metal music. Um, 
But I don't know what it's gonna be. It's not gonna be like a music show, right? That's much too long. Hmm. Art Deco Icon? Oh boy. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think there was an artist called Ert, maybe? Like that? I'm not 100% on this one. I'm just trying to get a little bit more help on this cross here. Let's take a peek at this one. This is going to be another theme answer. Sign outside a taboo tournament. Hmm. Okay, so taboo is the game where you are kind of forbidden from saying certain words, right? It looks like it might end in word. Maybe it's don't say a word. That's fantastic. That's really good. All right, so hopefully that'll help us build down here. Very harsh as comments. Hmm, like internet comments? Cry of horror? Is that just oh no? Spot for a campaign sign. That would definitely be a lawn. Okay. Web portal owned by Verizon? Is that AOL? Facebook Messenger activity? That's their chat program. Um... Maybe this is acid, ooh. That's not necessarily about internet comments, that's just comments in general can be acid if they're very harsh. Okay. Among as friends? In with, maybe? Yeah, okay. Element named after a group in Greek myth. Hmm. Is it gonna be named after the Titans? Maybe it's titanium? Nice, okay. T.S. That looks really bad unless it's T.S. Eliot. Overwhelming amount. Oh, that could be a tsunami also. <laughs> yeah, if it's a Japanese word, that's good too. All right. Notoriously fast starter. Maybe that's the hare from the tortoise in the hare? Yeah, he was a fast starter, but not a fast finisher. Okay. Mystique could be an aura. You could have a mysterious aura. Sails in style in a way. Maybe that's just yachts. If you have a fancy yacht, that would be in style. All right, do we have one more board game pun here? Is this going to be about Connect Four? Sign outside a Domino's tournament. No, it is going to have Connect in it, though. I think this is going to be Connect the Dots. Very nice, yeah. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be able to be about connect four because if connect is in the answer, you couldn't say connect four in the clue. Yeah, excellent. Okay. All right, that's probably our last game. Let's finish off the bottom of the grid here. Camp beds could be cots. Vegetable that's often fried. Maybe that's okra. Fried okra sounds pretty good. Finland's largest company by revenue. That's probably Nokia. Play as guitar, it's gotta be strum. Same with me, another equivalent phrase. Maybe that's as am I, the very formal as am I. And this is the NSA, home to many cyber safety experts in brief. Yeah, that sounds good. Level or lever. Hmm, I guess those are both examples of a tool. One seeing red. And this is more wordplay, so it's not just about someone being angry. Um, maybe it's someone that owes money, that kind of red. I'm not actually sure where the pun is going to be here. Let's look at these acrosses. Circular earring, that's definitely going to be a hoop. Donuts topologically. Oh my god. Um, well, another name for a donut shape is a torus. And Taurus pluralized is Tori. <laughs> That's very difficult. All right, schedule opening could be a slot. Hmm, I guess this is about bowls, Toro. Where you might bump into a metal fan. Okay, that's gonna be a mosh pit. Yeah, there's a lot of bumping in a mosh pit. Excellent, so it was about music after all. That's great. Okay, many a plaza has one. I would want this to be like a fountain or something. Hmm. Flabby male physique that's not exclusive to fathers. I guess that would be a dad bod. 
That's a nice and modern term. Okay. Certain sausage informally maybe brought. Workplace org created in 1970. I imagine that's OSHA. Mafia VIPs. That's gotta be Don's, right? Like Don Corleone. All right, let's look at the downs here. Work of art that goes to waste. And this is more wordplay. Um, I guess the wordplay is about this word waste. It's talking about the waste that's near your hips. It's not talking about something going to waste as in it's not getting used. Um, hmm. It kind of looks like it wants to be torso, right? But that's not a work of art. Huh. What is this one? Beehive State Resident. I guess that would be a Utah. <laughs> Somebody that lives in Utah. Oh my god. Is there really no vowel between the H and the N? That's so funny. These in Madrid? I guess that could be Estas, right? Um, is this statue? I guess it is torso. Oh, that's so funny. It's a work of art that only goes down to the waist, right? It's just a torso, it's like a sculpture. <laughs> it's maybe a statue, yeah. That's so funny. All right, let's put in that T and see if that does it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 25. A little on the slow side, but still not too bad. That was a nice and punny Tuesday puzzle. The theme was all puns that have to do with board games. Capture the flag for Stratego. Sit for a spell. I absolutely love that one for Scrabble. Don't say a word for Taboo and connect the dots for dominoes. Yeah, all everyday phrases that could be punnily clued as signs for certain board game tournaments. Very, very nice there. And in addition to the puns in the theme, we got a lot of great wordplay clues in the rest of the fill too. I loved this pair of letters in Greek world and Hebrew world. This torso wordplay that we ended with was actually really great too. Work of art that goes to waste. This C's was very tricky too, Cadillac rims. And I really liked the misdirection in Mosh Pit here, where you might bump into a metal fan, not a metal fan. <laughs> All right, thanks for being game and solving this punny Tuesday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and make sure to tune in tomorrow because the channel's getting a little bit of a holiday makeover. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.